Happening right now across the southwest border agents are working to turn away and detain people crossing the border illegally. The Biden administration rolling out new stricter immigration rules that are now in effect and a new statement. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says smugglers are spreading misinformation on social media, offering their services to migrants with promises of easy entry. Our Alyssa Cole is on the ground right now in Eagle Pass. Alyssa, are the new rules designed to create safer legal pathways for asylum? The new rules are exactly that. You saw the van just passing there just a moment ago to, of course, probably inform those who may be crossing the border illegally about those new safer rules. And those new safer rules include being a part of those migrant processing centers. Now, a part of those migrant processing centers, it includes a part of the plan of being rolled out across the Western Hemisphere in countries like Colombia and Guatemala, where the Biden administration plans to have those migrant centers where people can walk up, they can apply for asylum in the United States, Canada, in Spain, and they don't have to worry about taking that dangerous, dangerous journey here to our U.S.-Mexico border. Now, of course, uh, those who are looking to still make the dangerous journey and um, look to make the attempt to cross the border illegally, there will be very severe consequences. Uh, the Biden administration rolled out those rules recently. Um, as you mentioned, Stephanie, and we did get a chance to hear from the Department of Homeland Security, uh, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, and he breaks down what those consequences are. Take a listen. Do not believe the lies of smugglers. People who do not use available legal pathways to enter the U.S. now face tougher consequences, including a minimum five-year ban on re-entry and potential criminal prosecution. Yes, yes, that potential criminal prosecution are felony charges. And as you've been speaking about, Mark, that Title 42 is officially over. It's expired. So that means those new rules are in effect right now. To learn more about Title 42, to watch our continuing team coverage all across the southwest border, continue to stay with us online and on air. We will continue reporting on what we see throughout the day. Reporting in Eagle Pass, Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.